I am definitely auditioning. It's one of my OG list items. Star in a WWE action movie. I think I'm gonna pass. Are you kidding? Do I need to remind you that the rank and file films are cinematic masterpieces? No. You mention that every year on that weird holiday you invented where you binge all of them from start to finish. You mean Thanksgiving Day? It's the most heart-pounding, action-packed, explosive day of the year. And it's gonna catch on. You'll see. I wouldn't get your hopes up, all you wannabe movie stars. Because I already have the lead role of Bryce Decker locked in for the fourth consecutive film. I mean, do you really think the rank-and-file franchise could continue without the most accomplished WWE superstar slash actor in history? The answer is no, people. But please, feel free to audition for a bit part or an extra role. I'll be sure to put in a good word for you with the director. Gotta run. Getting my eyes bleached for the big shoot coming up. Really gonna make these baby blues pop on screen. Break a leg. Sorry, this isn't my thing, but I know how excited you were. Hmm. Honestly, the franchise is probably better off in the hands of a seasoned artist like The Miz. You were right. It was a stupid dream. <sighs> you know what? I changed my mind. Let's audition together. It'll be fun. Really? Yeah. Let's give it our best shot, and maybe we can get supporting roles, or background would be fine too, even deep background where we're out of focus and no one can see me. Oh, that would still be cool. And just imagine all the kids' faces when they see us in the movie next year on Thanksgiving Day. They'll light up with explosions and excitement. I'm still not sure that's catching on like you think it is. Instead of worrying about movie auditions, maybe you should focus on defending your Raw Women's Championship. Thanks for the advice, but I'm confident I can handle both. Maybe you feel that way because you've been facing subpar competition since you won that title last year. So how about you step up and take on someone who can actually challenge you? Who do you have in mind? Is that a serious question? I'm talking about the EST of WWE. I'll see you in the ring. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Raw Women's Championship. we get started here, let me remind everybody that the title is on the line here tonight. Yeah, but that's just a mere formality. The way I see it, there's no way we crown a new champion tonight. And I'd say that she doesn't look even the least bit concerned heading into this title defense. Well, she better be, Cole, because I assure you that the challenge coming for the other side of the ring is very real. Here comes the EST, gentlemen. WWE Universe, you are looking at a superstar who is just naturally better than everybody else, even when only doing the bare minimum. Bianca's been exceptional her entire life. She earned all SEC and All-American honors in track and field at the University of Tennessee. And if you just ask her, she'll tell you why she's better than everybody else. You got eyes, Byron, you understand. 
Corey, what must be going through the challenger's mind right now? Well, I hope she's not already thinking about how her side plates would look on the title. If she's already looking that far ahead, she's as good as done here tonight. Introducing the challenger from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. And introducing the champion from Cleveland, Ohio, the Raw Women's Champion, Ali Tia. We're about to see which woman rules the landscape around here. Since winning the Raw Women's Championship, Red has defended her title against all challengers. This is the first time, however, that she faces an opponent with the athleticism of Bianca Belair. You know, it sounds cliche, but these two are driven to be the best. That alone should create an ultra-competitive matchup tonight. If Red takes this likely, not only can she part ways with her title, she could also become the new EST of WWE, as in latest to lose to Bianca Belair. Stomping, ouch. It's starting to come together in a big way. She's fighting hard and reaping the rewards. Uh, great technical prowess from Bianca Belair. Covered by the challenger. Plenty of fight left. She got the shoulder up, that's all that counts. Ooh. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. By my estimation, Bianca Belair is pound for pound the best athlete in the NXT women's division. Well, that's part of what being the EST is all about. And it's been Belair's recipe for success since debuting in NXT. But it's her strength and power game specifically that she needs to rely on in this match. Defenseless in the corner now. Strong Whoa. kick. My goodness. Oh. Kick right to the midsection. Trouble in paradise from out of one midair. What? This one's about the women's championship, and nothing means more to these women than that title. Shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? Whoa. And Bianca Belair with a quick kick out. Not yet. H for the win to retain the championship. One, two, three. The champion retains. Sorry, but I'm just a little nervous with the star of the rank and file franchise here. Oh, don't mind me. I just wanted a sneak peek at what's going to end up on the blooper reel. You'll be fine. Besides, pressure makes diamonds. Or in this case, comedy gold. So I know you didn't give out script pages before the auditions, but when do I get to see the lines? You don't, because you're going off book. I want you to feel it here by completely immersing yourself in the character. Now I'll read a line and you tell me what our hero's response should be. This should be good. The antidote is hidden in the vending machine, but it's jammed. Looks like we're gonna need to buy a lot of candy if we wanna get sweet revenge. Perfect! That's exactly what I was envisioning. Now let's continue. I know I pronounced you dead a half hour ago, but we need to know where Donnie's gang is hiding out.
The real question is, what are they hiding from? Me? Or their guilt that they've chosen a life of crime over being good fathers? That's not quite what I had in mind. Uh, let's take five, okay? Face it. You're just not cut out for this. I know I pronounced you dead a half hour ago, but we need to know where Donnie's gang is hiding out. I saw it in a vision when I was dead. They're in a building that has a large white star on it. Also, your grandfather says hi, and that he approves of your lifestyle. Yes! You absolutely nailed it! Beginner's luck! Okay, last one. The bomb is wired inside of Chloe's jet ski. So you're going to have to make a decision. Stay here so I don't get away, or go save her and a bunch of innocent dolphins. What's it going to be? I'm gonna let you in on a secret. Those are bomb-disabling dolphins. So the only one who's gonna be sleeping with the fishes is you. Brilliant! It's almost like you saw the script ahead of time. Unbelievable! Maybe you could play gang member number two or henchman number five. Not anyone with an actual name. <laughs> okay, miss. Now that Trey has dazzled me with his intuitive performance, it's your turn to audition. Are you kidding? This must be a prank, right? Did they bring back Swerved? No, this isn't a joke. But I'm the star of the rank and file franchise. You can't potentially recast me. I even have a Bryce Decker tattoo on my inner left thigh. I thought this so-called audition was just a part of your stupid hippity dippity process. I assure you, it's very real. So if you're that confident in your ability, then please show me. Fine. But can I at least see the script pages? <laughs> that wouldn't be fair. I want you to feel it here. Don't touch me! Don't mind me. Sit down, shut up, and watch how a real Hollywood star performs this part. Proceed, director! The terrorists are inside the arena, disguised as the opening band. You need to do something to stop them. We need to create a diversion. What kind of concert is this? Rock? Country? Hip-hop? I could really use some context. Don't worry about all that. Just immerse yourself in the character. Yeah, Miz. Immerse. Shut up. I think the only way we're gonna stop them as if we band together. Uh, puns are a bit too expected and broad for my taste. Too broad? A few minutes ago, this no-talent hack was babbling on about bomb-disabling dolphins. It rang true when he said it. Look, in the spirit of positivity, I think it's time for you to move on to a new artistic challenge. This is unbelievable. You'll be getting a call from my agent, my entertainment lawyer, and my regular lawyer. I actually don't have a phone, but I'd be happy to meet with them in person at my treehouse in the woods outside of Austin. Unbelievable! I'll call you. I, I just made up that whole treehouse thing to get rid of him. Brilliant. Before we get started, you should know, I'm just doing this to support a friend of mine, so I thought I'd just stand here for a couple of minutes so he thinks I auditioned. That work for you? Unconventional, but I like where you're going with this. Very avant-garde. No, you don't, you don't get it. I really don't want to part. The reluctant heroine. I dig it. No. I don't know how else to say this. I don't want to be in your movie. Sorry I'm late. The idiot I was sparring with accidentally scratched me, so I had to fire him. Then he started crying, saying how he couldn't believe his own daughter would do this to him, blah, blah, blah. What the hell are you doing here? Oh, hey, Red. Didn't recognize you. Guess I just thought you were the director's homely assistant. His wife forced him to hire, so he's not tempted to cheat on her. Tried that. Didn't work. Why are you here? This is my turf. 
Believe me, I would have preferred to do this just about anywhere else, but I'm here because I'm using my MMA success to dabble in Hollywood. Kind of like Ronda Rousey did, only way better. Brooklyn's already been cast as our female lead, Miranda. You know what? Let's have the two of you workshop the scene where Miranda's daughter is kidnapped from the playground, and you're the stubborn crossing guard who won't let her cross the street illegally to chase after the kidnappers. Seriously? And... action. The kidnappers are getting away with Emily. I need to stop them! I'm sorry, ma'am, but I can't let you cross the street until the walk signal appears. I'm just doing my job. Yeah. Well, a mother's job is never done. Going off script with the slap, but I like it. Use that anger, Red. If you ever touch me again, the only movies you'll appear in will be the instructional kind for plastic surgeons on how to fix faces that are bludgeoned beyond recognition. Maybe a tad extreme? <clears throat> cut! Cut! That's a wrap! Is anyone filming this? Is anyone... Get me a camera. Get me a camera now. Does that take you back anywhere? Just like old times. <laughs> Despite Miz and Brooklyn doing everything they could to prevent it, I got the starring role in Rank and File 4. Red, on the other hand, wasn't so lucky. But I guess fighting with the lead actress during a casting session is generally frowned upon. Miranda! Where are you? I'm in the spaceship's cockpit. Hurry, Bryce! We don't have much time before it launches. Your time's up! Imposter! Cut! There's no henchman line in this script. You're just supposed to tackle him, and then he throws you off the imaginary launch pad. Let's go again, and this time stick to what's written. Sorry, but that's not going to happen. What? Oh! Uh, security! Security intruder on the set! Get him, Miz! Is, an, is, that, is that on? Is that on? Are you getting... Ge Gerald! Gerald! Do you know what I taste? My own tears.
for your consideration. Rank and file four. This is the realest thing I've ever seen. Get that guy off my set! I always wanted to say that. I cannot work in these unsafe conditions. Then maybe you should talk to your friend, henchman number five. You started all this. You know what? I'm going to my trailer and I'm not coming out until you're recast. Don't look at me! Okay, that's lunch. Miz, I appreciate you taking the time to have me on your show so we can set the record straight. Because the truth is, I shouldn't be here tonight in this crap basket of a town. No offense. I should be in majestic Vancouver, British Columbia, filming Rank and File 4. But unfortunately, my co-star, and I use that term loosely, let his personal feelings against my friend, The Miz, boil over. And now 200 crew members are out of work. That's right. I'm sorry to inform you that the production on Rank and File 4 has been temporarily shut down. And unless we come up with a solution, the shutdown could be permanent. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're blaming all of this on me? I'm not the one who snuck on set like a crazy stalker and attacked the star of the movie. In fact, I have it on good authority from a security guard that you were the one who let Miz on set. So if anything, this whole mess is your fault. I would never do that to my crew. They're like family. Sure, I might forget their names or not let them make eye contact with me, but that's the exact same relationship I have with my siblings. Guys, guys, what if I told you I can make this act of injustice disappear without involving producers or agents or lawyers? How do you propose we do that? by settling who gets the part in a match at SummerSlam. But it won't be any typical match you've seen before. This will be an action-packed summer blockbuster. The rank and file four script will be suspended above the ring and whoever can climb a ladder and retrieve it first gets the starring role once and for all. This will be the premiere of the lights, camera, action ladder match. Sequels are tough to pull off but me beating you for the part a second time is gonna be way more entertaining than the first go around. And since we're in the spirit of making movie-themed matches, I have another pitch for you. How about we give everyone a preview of the coming attraction to SummerSlam? Me and Red versus you and Brooklyn tonight on Raw. You'd all love to see me compete inside a WWE ring, wouldn't you? Well, too bad, because it's not gonna happen. I'm an elite MMA fighter and Hollywood star. This isn't my arena. Fair enough. But if it's not your arena, then why don't you get the hell out? I will not stand here and allow you to insult my esteemed guest. So. If you want a sneak preview match, then you got it. But it will be you and Red taking on me and my beautiful wife, Maurice. That's fine. Now that I'm a movie star, I get how it works. When it comes time for an action scene, you take out the lead actress and bring in the lower paid, less talented stunt double. As they say in Hollywood, ciao.
following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Cleveland, Ohio, the Raw Women's Champion, Ali Tia. Byron, are you at all surprised by the intensity level inside this arena right now? Not in the least bit, Michael. This is the one the WWE Universe has been looking forward to for quite some time. Seeing as the title is not on the line tonight, Corey, do you anticipate motivation being an issue for the champ? Are you kidding me, Cole? Not only do I expect motivation to not be an issue for her here tonight, but I also expect her to wipe the floor with her opponent. Listen to this crowd, guys. They're fired up for this one, as well as they should be. This match has instant classic written all over it. And let's not forget about his opposition, who also comes into tonight looking to prove a point. Oh, I should hope so, Cole. If you don't go into every single match looking to make a statement, then you're just wasting everybody's time. It's the better half of the It Couple. And from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Marie! I am all excited that Maurice is here. One of the longest reigning women's champions of all time. Of course, the uh, wife of the A-lister, The Miz, but Maurice, she's an A-lister in her own right. You're absolutely right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's my favorite part. Oh. She has a very questionable attitude. Nothing to question, Byron. Awesome! Get ready for some awesome! The Miz is the man who single-handedly turned SmackDown from the B Show to the Show. A star of stage, screen, reality television. Is there anything The Miz hasn't done? Did The Miz pay you to say all that, Corey? Absolutely not, Byron Saxton. I happen to be a hopeful for consideration for a Mizzy this year. Really? Oh, That's right. Mizzy? Oh, come on. That would be awesome, Corey. That would be ridiculous. Where would you put it? On my mantle with my most prized possessions. Why are you encouraging him, Michael? I would love to have a Mizzy. You guys are weird. This is such an intriguing matchup, but you have to wonder if Red was just a little bit disappointed. She didn't have the opportunity to get her hands on Brooklyn Von Braun. Honestly, I think Red's lucky that didn't happen, because from what I heard about their audition dust-up, Red's no match for Brooklyn. Oh. The DeVille combo, Saxton. Such vicious strikes. 
straight punch. Jarring. It's starting to come together in a big way. Her offense is on point right now. Ooh. Really just laying it in. Ah, oh, look at this. She's taking some big hits here. If I had to pick the most shocking championship win of this decade, I'd have to go with The Miz cashing in the money in the bank on Randy Orton to become WWE Champion. Oh, nasty impact. Gets the tag. Sling blade! Nicely done. Corey, touching back on Miz's title win you brought up, even I was surprised, and I was a bit of a Miz. It looks like it might all be over for the team of Maurice and Miz. Uh, what is that? I think it's footage from Red and Brooklyn's audition fight. It certainly got Red's attention. And scene. French kiss DDT. Maurice capitalizes on Red being distracted and pulls off the upset. What a huge win for the It Couple. Oh, the timing of that footage playing was certainly no accident. It looked like Red was about to put Maurice away. I think there's your answer on who played the footage. That was a coordinated effort among those three. Hey, it's always smart to have a backup plan. I've been telling you that for years, Saxton. singles matches coming up here. But I can assure you these two superstars have been waiting all day to get their hands on each other. I'd say that he's among the most prideful superstars on the roster today. Well, when you accomplish what he's been able to accomplish, Michael, you have every right to be proud of yourself. and accolades that The Miz has on the grand stage. But the truth is, there aren't enough hours in the day. There's no doubt that Miz has really been one of the greats at, on the grand stage. He beat John Cena in the main event of WrestleMania. He won the inaugural mixed match challenge with Asuka. He really is the A-lister when it comes to these big time shows. Correct me if I'm wrong, Michael Cole, but WrestleMania 27 was the beginning of your undefeated streak. Which, Indeed. thanks to The Miz, oh was gosh. must see. We've seen plenty of ladder matches in WWE history, 
but not quite like this where the script for the action film rank and file four has been suspended above the ring in a briefcase whoever climbs the ladder and retrieves the script first will win both the match and the starring role it's a travesty of justice that miz even has to go through something like this to get a role that should have already been his he is one of the greatest actors of our time i don't know about that but i do know that this lights camera action ladder match is going to be a smash hit with audiences and critics worldwide saxton why don't you treat this like we're at the movies no talking what wow. a shot Showing a lot of fury with these attacks. This is what he feeds off of. Just a debilitating neck breaker. Set up for the... The man is looking a little stunned here. It'll take more punishment than that to keep him from the top of the ladder. Great evasion. Oh, oh man. Not where you want to be at this point in the match, guys. Definitely not. Trey hammers Miz in the corner. It's Brooklyn Von Braun. I had a feeling she'd get involved tonight. Do you blame her? She wants Miz to win so she can have a legitimate co-star in the movie. And here's Red to stop Brooklyn from spoiling this match. This is pure jealousy. Red couldn't beat Brooklyn in the audition, so now she's taking it out on her. That's ridiculous. She's only out here to help her friend, Trey. And it appears she's been able to accomplish that. Red has neutralized Brooklyn as they head to the back. Cut! Cut! There's no cutting in this match. We're having a great time here at SummerSlam. Thanks again for joining us. The ascent begins. What's going on here, guys? Uh, I have no idea. This isn't where he wants to be, guys. He needs to get back inside that ring. Scoop slam! And he's heading back in. He's got that ladder right where he wants it. Now what? Neck breaker! That could be it. The Miz definitely in a tough spot now. He's not looking great, but never count him out. Let's say you found yourself on the other side of the ring against the A-lister. What would your strategy be, Corey? Well, the Miz has a lot of tricks up his sleeve and has a deep repertoire of moves. If you happen to have a size advantage on Miz, you have to use your power to knock him silly before he hatches any of his plans. Masterful execution by the Miz. Finds a way to reverse. Got him caught. Uh-oh. Dragon screw. Going back to my awesome strategy against The Miz, the few opponents who have given him real trouble are WWE's strongest competitors like John Cena and Roman Reigns. When they can hit harder, they've been able to defeat The Miz. The skull-crushing finale is a pretty devastating move, but if you've got something bigger, like, say, a spear or an attitude adjustment, it's all about setting up your big move before The Miz does his. Oh, the ladder hits. Jeez, that's got to hurt. Getting the ladder set up right in the center of the ring. A picture-perfect location. Hey, he, he could win it here. I'd be shocked if this is it, Michael. We've got a climber. Oh, what a counter. I can't say that I'm surprised to see the action continue up here. Me neither, since it's a uh, ladder match. Going right at him up there. You got to. Not a great move. Hope they're not afraid of heights. Perched up top. Diving knee drop. And gentlemen, The Miz may be fading away here. He's trying again. Pop up power bomb. 
Big opportunity for him now. The Miz's chances just went from bad to worse. The ladder is up. Here we go. He's right there with this match in his hands. Mm, uh, having some trouble getting it down. Go help him, Byron. No matter how you feel about anyone's acting skills, this is a huge night for Trey. He beat a future Hall of Famer in a pressure-filled, high-stakes ladder match at the biggest party of the summer. As far as I'm concerned, Trey deserves the role and our respect. Oh, that's nice. But as of now, I'm officially boycotting rank and file four. Sorry, Brooklyn. I'll just have to catch you in your next film.